attack of the show. I'm <laughs> Candace Bailey. Yeah. I thought for a second you were doing Angels in the Outfield. Oh, uh, that's pretty nice. Remember that crap? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Kevin Pereira. We're coming to you live from my, uh, Los Angeles. It is exhausted from all the blowing. My lord, wind getting out there. It is. Am I right? It's very windy. Woo! And that's all it takes to throw our city into it peril. It lifted me up. What? The wind lifted me up last night. Were you walking with an umbrella? Was it a poppin' style thing? <laughs> it didn't or? really lift me up, but I wish it was. <laughs> I'd want to be caught in the tornado. What? I would love, I mean, if I wasn't going to get hurt, I would love to be caught in a tornado so I could just spin around. <laughs> but then, but then I would, yeah, no, that's... then I would need an angel to come catch me and brace my fall. Because oh. angels do that. <laughs> that's, that's their purpose, is to save damsels in tornadoes? <laughs> Didn't you know? Yeah, no, I got to get back to the old Bible, I forgot, I'm sorry. Uh, on the program today, speaking of angels, Beth Reese Graff is here live. She's a sexy thief on leverage, so hold on to your wallets and your hearts. And we continue our hard-hitting investigation into what tablet you should buy for the holidays with the Sony, Sony Tablet S on Gadget. Yeah. Sony's yes. got one. Everybody's got one. Is that yeah. S? Yes. Yes. Um, plus, Sarah does what I have no intention of doing ever, confronting her fears of spiders. Zazio, you brave, silly girl. And today, who's who on YouTube? What are you looking at? Nothing. Stop it. I'm Don't what? look at me. Okay. Who's who on YouTube is the Wolf Gore Show. Yeah. Meet the Around the Net vet that makes a wonderfully bizarre mashup. And today, I'm very excited. I want to introduce, uh, at least to me, a very, oh, yeah, me very too. special guest. He's my favorite tweeter, a Ukrainian spam bot. It's a real Twitter account that I follow and retweet all the time. His name is Horse Ebooks. Horse Ebooks, everybody. Yay! I love horsies, especially talking ones. Yeah. Welcome, comrade, Horse Ebooks. Now lay one of your wonderful tweets on us. I don't know about you, but I sure as heck don't want to look like a strange dude. I mean, right? The guy, he's the Mark Twain of Twitter, essentially, is what I'm saying. If you suffer from bad credit, you have three options. Do nothing. Of course. Meaning funny and true. I know, you know what I mean? yes. Delicious mud. That was deep. Horse e-books, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta love them. It's really... dance party. That sounds fun. Although, I'm not so sure about one of the dance moves. It's great for him, though. I'm sure he's on tour with Chris Brown right now as a backup dancer. <laughs> Nailed it. And, and listen, take it from me. If you're going to get abused by a dance instructor, that's one of the better ways it can happen. OK? <laughs> I, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tap flashbacks. That's all I'm saying. Did you tap dance? God, no. God, no. Did you jazz dance? No. Jazz dance? Jazz. Ooh. What? Did I you, get, is that uh, jazz hands? Uh, did you, jazz hands. Do you know lyrical jazz? No. Did, well, you dance, right? I, you did I dance? Did, yeah. What'd you do? I was a ballet dancer. Oh. And I did modern dance. Okay. Is that the creepy leaping on stage to fill the totally, music? It's totally weird. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not really like that. That was an exaggeration, but it could have been like that. <laughs> It was weird. It was weird. Take it. You know, if you ever lose your pet, you'd probably ask your neighbors if they've seen it, check the local pound, and maybe post some flyers around to get the word out. Sure, that'd be logical. But yeah. according to the fine minds of NBC News San Diego, one distraught pet owner knows the real secret to true messaging. It's that sex sells. 
local woman is turning to desperate measures this afternoon, some might call a little crazy, in order to find her missing chihuahua. Yeah, well, Arlene Corona is calling it fast and freeze after posting flyers, calling shelters, and even contacting a pet psychic, which failed. She decided to stand on a street corner in her bikini in this really chilly weather, as you know, in the morning until her dog comes home. I just want to be with my dog so bad, and I'm going against my family's wishes to miss Thanksgiving, but I'm so desperate to get my dog back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that truly confuses me. On, uh, on one hand, young lady in a bikini and high heels. Yeah, okay. On looking the other hot. hand, there were chihuahuas involved. So Kevin? I just, I, what Kevin? am I supposed to do with my boner? No, you tell I me. I don't feel comfortable answering well, that. Well, yeah, I don't feel comfortable without proper boner disposal. So I'm just saying you can't leave these things lying around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but here's, here's, here's the truly tragic thing. During that clip, Candace not only looked at several photos of her dogs on her cell phone and went, ah, but she said she would contact a pet psychic as well. If my boobies got low, well, I call my I call my dogs boobies. <laughs> but look, like, there's, there's plenty of oh. Two are mine and two are my sisters. But if my boobies got that lost, looks like a teaser for hoarders or intervention <laughs> or both. <laughs> Y'all stop on applauding there? that, okay? <laughs> They're little, so I can have two. <laughs> That's your mentality? They're little, I can have two? Well, and I give them tons of love. <laughs> oh my God. They are lucky to have me what as do a you mama. Think, do you really believe, not only in psychics, but in pet psychics, like they stare into a crystal fire hydrant and they locate your animal? No, I don't know that it would work, but I would call my psychic friend Aixa. <laughs> you better believe it. Oh, she, this, this woman is dead on. She is so good. I've told you stories, you know, don't you look like that. But you know it's true. You no, I know you've told me stories. That's yeah. where that sentence ends. I don't know that any of it's true. Well, she's a real one. Well, she, okay. She, she doesn't do it as a job. She doesn't make money for it. She just knows things. Oh, so that's when that's when Miss Cleo jumped the shark, is when she took people's money. I <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I got it. That's how you tell the crazy ones. <laughs> for the third day this week, we're taking you back to Skyrim. Yeah, like, let's Skyrim. sex it up. Yeah, <laughs> hey, let's ladies. sex it up. Huh? Skyrim. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. I'll leave the studio for this five minutes if you just. This is bombshell just... bra. Oh. Because it makes my boobs do this. Run for cover. Hello. <laughs> uh, incredible feats of strength are commonplace. Uh, so you have to do something amazing in Skyrim to impress us. Uh, there's also uh, a guy who hucked 2,500 wheels of cheese off the top of a mountain. That works. Killing dragons, right? It's so it's so much more than that, Candace. That's really I'm sorry. I'm just that's short sighted, right? Oh. I mean, but, like, Sky, yes, you kill dragons, What's but with you, the cheese? you could, well, it's just fun. The fact that he could do it was great, but you can also pick flowers in the game and mushrooms. <laughs> you can enchant gloves. It's um. I. Skyrim's I don't think dumb. I want to know what that it's means. It's a stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, a 300 hour experience, 140 of which are loading. <laughs> And, and walking around, there's think, lots of walking. Yeah, don't forget that. I think that. you're gonna make some enemies no, right now. I got it. Well, they, well, they can't. They, what are they gonna do? Chase me down and get winded after three steps? <laughs> Skyrimmers. And a it's two. a virtual chore game. That's all it is. It's like a 3D to-do list. You play games to get away from chore lists. So what is this? Go talk to somebody and get something. Then go load through a doorway and go talk to somebody else. And do you have to eat? You know cheese? what? All games are dumb. <laughs> And a number two today. Do I, do I have to say words? Right. Human ingenuity at its finest. Yeah. So it looks like you're back. I'm back, yeah. Uh, I'm a professional <laughs> game oh. hater. Mm -hmm. That's a loose term. Uh, we're about to answer one of life's greatest questions. What happens when a leaf blower makes sweet, sweet love to an office chair?
people do when they don't have Skyrim. <laughs> it's ba that was ba it was like a so reader's. That's a good thing. Yeah, oh, I mean, okay. yeah, sort of. It was basically a Reader's Digest condensed version of Saturday Night with me. That's what that video was. You end up dizzy and bruised? Mm -hmm. Smelling like gasoline, too, in a garage. Whoa. Skyrim's dumb. Still ahead, Herman Cain explained by MC Hammer. Get on your genie pants for today's number one. Be right back. That's all I'm saying. The doggy was found. Yeah, on the side of a road. It's a real tragic It was not dead. The doggy was found in a shelter. Yeah. Yay! And at number one today, something wonderful. Uh, yeah, something very wonderful. This is presidential candidate Herman Cain's alleged lady groping troubles, ironically paired with MC Hammer's catchy ode to keeping your hands to yourself. Can't touch us. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Touch this. Can't touch this. My, 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 my. Yes! Love it! That's it. Wait. Wait, was that an attack ad? Well, if it was, it didn't work on me. I'm still yeah. Kane 2012 all the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smarter than Skyrim. Go! It's a fact. Most doctors, nutrition experts, celebrity chefs, and best-selling authors are dead. Uh, for a foreign horse, he's got a really good point. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's true. Maybe you often get angry and say words. Well, Kevin, I mean, he couldn't be more right about you. Uh, about a lot of people. You say truly, words. Truly, when I you're do angry. sometimes. Yeah. What else you got? That's a parent's worst nightmare: a child. <laughs> Twitter account ever, right? Thanks, horsey books. <laughs> Tablets just got a little more PlayStation y. All right, we're wrapping up Tablet Week with the Sony Tablet S. This is Sony's debut into the world of tablets. Oh, that's what everybody was saying. Woo! Sony, please make one. We really want to see what you'll do, Ron. Yes, and this is what it was. Uh, it has a 9.4 inch touchscreen, the largest of the tablet. Let's, let's turn it on so it doesn't look oh, like a monolith. I thought, I, I thought it was on. Yeah, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> up here. Oh, no, it's, well, it's I'm there. confused. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Boom. Hey! Mm, mm. There we go. All right, it weighs. A bit over a pound, but mm -hmm. it feels a lot lighter than it looks. It does. It's definitely larger than the other Here, tablets we it. had this week, but it's it's a little smaller than the iPad to give you a sense of the its mm -hmm. its size. Uh, the only physical buttons are the power and volume buttons, which are on the side or the top, depending upon how you're holding it. There's a stereo jack on the bottom, again, or side. Uh, micro USB. There's an SD card slot on the side, but here's a bummer. You can't stream media from the SD card slot. So if you right. load it up with movies or whatever, you have to actually copy them to the device, so you're, you're swapping stuff around just oh, to watch silly. it. that's silly. A little weird. Um, but now you know. It's got an IR sensor on it, so you can use it as a universal remote, which is nice. And despite the design, the device feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hands. No, it doesn't. But I don't I think it's get... because of this. Well, here's the, here's the problem <laughs> that I have with it, uh, in addition to the other ones I'm going to mention. There are stereo speakers on the device. You got mm -hmm. one down here, and you got one down here. Problem is that if you're holding the device like this, like you would while you're reading... You're covering the speakers! Up. There you go! Mm. Put them on top, then you're not covering it no matter how you're holding it. Am I right? Yeah. Right. You, Sony, you got that one for free, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> now, as I said before, there's a 9.4 inch LCD touchscreen mm -hmm. with a 1280 by 800 resolution, and it looks good. It does. Uh, it uses Sony's true black technology, so you get deep blacks, similar to their Bravia television sets. The colors are bright. They're good enough for viewing media, any media, perhaps even the Green Hornet trailer that comes on the tablet. I mean, oh, yeah. look at that trailer. Woo! 
<laughs> the uh, tablet runs on Android 3.2 Honeycomb. It feels a, a little laggy, and not just the traditional sort of Android yeah. lag that a lot of devices have, but on certain screens, it's real the, laggy. the OS, yeah, it just sort of stops responding for seconds at a time. Uh, well, milliseconds at a time, but come on, we're nerds. Um, inside, there's an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, so it can handle video and games just fine. But the iPad, as you're about to see, is way ahead of loading QWERTY compared to the Tablet S. Wow. Um, there's no comparison there. Uh, well, there is one. It's just a tragic <laughs> <It's> comparison. <not. laughs> I mean, that is taking forever. Oh, God. Okay, if you're wondering about Battery Live, you can probably get around eight hours of constant viewing with Wi-Fi turned on. Right, which is the same as the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 that we reviewed yesterday. There it is. Um, and as you'll notice, it's way smaller and lighter. Now, in terms of features, the Tablet S also comes uh, with front and rear cameras. Uh, yeah, it's got a five megapixel rear camera. It takes, takes decent photos outdoors. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you get inside, they look they look pretty grainy. Come on, buddy, get out of there! No, uh, the video has a lot of artifacting and a lot of grain in low lit places. I mean, this is outside, and it it doesn't it's look. Bad. I'm telling you, in person, it looks really wow. That is straight Awful. straight hood up in that meeting. <laughs> um, barely captures those guns, Jeremy. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> but it, it it just looks grainy. It reminds me of like old 3GP videos that you take with a with, with the Nokia's yeah. when they first came out. Yeah, don't ask what meeting that was because we don't know. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly nothing productive was getting done in that room. Um, it's only a, a 0.3 megapixel front camera as well, so this is like the most basic of video conferencing cameras. Again, glad it has it. Some, some tabs don't, mm -hmm. but it, it, it could be better. Other features include the ability to sign up for Sony's video and music unlimited service, mm -hmm. which allows you to stream media from their extensive library. Yeah, they got a good library. And for gamers, you also get access to the PlayStation Suite, and you can play PlayStation certified games, which are, uh, so far from what we've seen, basically PS1 version titles. Uh, like, here's Crash Bandicoot. But uh, look, if you've got a, a, a real nostalgia thing going on for PS1 games, then, then great. This is a huge bonus for you. But in my opinion, the, the, especially the analog controls of a game like this just do not translate well to the tablet. It's basically an emulator and that's about it. Okay. Well, you can purchase I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. They found the dog! Yay! Yay! Owner's not claiming it, though, so... Right. Uh, you can purchase the 16 gig version for $499, mm -hmm. so at that price, what are we rating it? Three out of five. Okay. Look, it's got a unique design. We're, you know, kudos for trying something. It's great for media and entertainment, but if you don't care much for PlayStation games or the Android OS, the iPad is essentially the same price, so go that route. Yeah. So out of the four tablets, which one is the best of the week? We actually, well, we gave the Kindle Fire, the Nook Color, and the Samsung Tab. We gave them all fours. But the most versatile tablet for its size and the price is the Samsung Tab 7 Plus, which you can see it right there. Um, it's a great size for traveling, fits in the palm of your hand. It has a responsive touch screen. It's got honeycomb, front rear cameras, the IR sensor, the uh, which you can go, use with the Peel Smart app. So uh, we recommend that one. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Ask Grandma for it. She'll get you the wrong one anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and Gadgetron goes to Vegas starting January 10th. AOTS brings you two days of live coverage mm -hmm. from the Consumer Electronics Show. What date does that start again? The 10th. The 10th. January 10th. Visit G4TV.com slash CES because you're going to want to for more details, right? Of course. <laughs>
it's Thursday, December 1st, and here are your top stories. Hey, Apple fanboys, tired of wimpy 3G speeds? Yeah. Well, next year, Apple will finally join the 4G party. Whoa. Japan's Nikkei Business is reporting that the next versions of Apple's mobile devices will all rock LTE 4G speeds. They said that CEO Tim Cook has already met with executives from mobile carriers to discuss the shift for next year. The 4G iPad 3 is expected next summer, while the 4G iPhone 5 will land sometime in the fall. So yes, that new iPhone 4S you just got is already old and lame. Aww. But it's not all good news in the land of Apple today. You know that hidden piece of software we talked about yesterday that's spying on millions of people's phones? Yeah. Well, someone found traces of it on iOS as well. Late yesterday, an iPhone hacker said that he found evidence of the Carrier IQ software on all versions of iOS. While it remains unclear to what extent the software is interacting with Carrier IQ servers compared to Android, BlackBerry, and Symbian systems, he said it seems to be logging much less information limited to some call activity and location info. However, Apple responded only a few hours ago and insisted they stopped supporting Carrier IQ with iOS 5. Everyone else, you're still being tracked. Sucks for you. Mm. We've all been to the zoo and seen a good old-fashioned chimpanzee fecal fight, but it turns out that a monkey who throws his poo is actually smarter than his counterparts. Huh. A recent study by the National Primate Research Center concluded that the frequency and accuracy with which a chimpanzee throws his duty is directly correlated to its intelligence. Apparently, the most frequent poo throwers show increased activity in the motor cortex the higher develop and higher development in the area of the brain, brain, which in humans is responsible for language. <laughs> Oddly enough, the correlation was not found in humans who <laughs> threw their poo, though. <laughs> so that's weird. And finally, a new trailer just came out for John Carter. If epic Martian action is your thing, then I think you're gonna like what you see. You killed him with one blow. When I saw you, I believed that something new can come into this world. You are John Carter of Earth? Yes, ma'am. What happened to this place? A new power threatens to destroy our city. Don't look like a fair fight. You are ugly, but you are beautiful. You will fight for us! Get on. We did not cause this. But this very night, we will end it! It was too late once. I won't be again. just been fed. Now, when Attack asked me if I wanted to make some new friends, I said, sure, but I didn't think they would have eight legs. Ugh. I consider myself a pretty tough chick. I gave the Ninja Warrior course a hell of a run, but if there is anything in the world that'll make me run and scream like a little baby, it's spiders. And today may be the day that I conquer my fears. Maybe. With the help from my extreme animal phobias, Dr. Robin Zazio, I've agreed to a one-day therapy session to see if there is any way I can get over my extreme fear of these creepy crawlers. 
Okay, Dr. Zazio, how long are your patients generally with you in therapy? Well, when we're conquering animal phobias, it can range because remember, we have to get the body in sync with the brain. So there's the physical aspect and the emotional aspect, and some people can move through the treatment a lot more quickly, but it can definitely take up to six months. What, what sort of techniques do you use, and what are we going to use today? Well, as I mentioned, uh, the treatment is a behavioral treatment called exposure therapy, where basically we identify what your triggers are. So in this case, we've got some uh, pictures, and then we go to the next phase, which would actually be a video. <gasps> that leads us to the next level, if you're ready. You ready? Yes. Okay. Will you allow me to take the tarantula out of its cage? And you'll, and you'll hold it? I will hold it. Oh, wow. Ah, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, come back here. See, now you're getting me all jumpy. Come on back. The thing is, is that you want to try to stay calm and not back up, because when you back up, that decreases your anxiety. So I'm going to try to do this, too. I'm in a little bit of an awkward position, but I need you to stay calm, because, you know, I'm, uh, I've got to get this little guy. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I don't know that I can stand. Okay. okay. So, Sarah, come on back. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Stay with me. Come I back can't. up. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes. So gross looking. But what is it that's gross about him? No, he just is. He's just disgusting. I think if he were standing still more that Okay. So it's not uncommon that a lot of people will do better with the larger tarantulas because they do tend to be a little more quiet. Does this one bite? Well, any insect or animal can bite, right? <laughs> so you just want to bring your hand up closer. And move it up as close as you can. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Stop this. Stop this. Please take him off. Okay, so come back. You don't have to touch him again, but it would be good if you could come back and get close to him again. Okay. He did kind of come at me, though. You know he did. Here we go again. Okay, okay. Here we go again. You did it. You did it. Stupid spider. You did it. You did it. You're doing great. You're doing great. Stay with it. Stay with it. Very good. All right. Okay, I did good it. Good job. You did it. Okay, I feel like I was a head case and I'm a little embarrassed <laughs> about how I acted, but how do you think I did? You did amazing. Many people wouldn't even do that in six months of treatment. And in a matter of a short period of time, from the pictures to the video, to now actually putting a very large tarantula in your hand is fabulous. You should be very proud of yourself. Well, I did so well with my therapy that I'm even okay just sitting here blindfolded with all these spiders on me. See? I'm fine. But... Okay, they edited that very nicely because it was like 30 minutes of me trying to like just get my hand to touch it and it was just a lot of I can't do it, I'm sorry. It. Like, it was do like you, 30 minutes of that. Do you so. feel like the session helped? No. Your chair. I think, You're no, fine. I think oh, I that makes me so that makes me feel so much better about not agreeing to do the roaches. Yeah, I I went back. I, at first when he started crawling over my hand, I was like, okay, this is all right. He doesn't feel as weird. He's nice and soft and light. Mm -hmm. And then he turned and looked at me. <laughs> and and then that's you. when I freaked out. And they can bite and they're poisonous. You could die. I could have died. <laughs> and so I mean, I'm more dying, scared but... now. Are you serious? I think I am. Yeah. It went the wrong direction. Yeah, I think about it. Uh. Now it haunts me when he turned and looked at me. I always think back about when he turned and looked at me. Uh, oh gosh, we're going to have to do a black a and white crawly maze soul. with spiders. No. I applaud you. What? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you did a great job. Sarah. <laughs> Stay tuned. We got Reese Brown from Leverage, and we'll steal the set live. Oh. Yeah. She shouldn't be stealing. What is she, set. What is she doing? She put, I mean, her name's on the door. <laughs> She's breaking in. Fail. Your dad. Major fail. 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 
fail, fail, fail. You lose. So apparently being a con artist can make you a little crazy. Two dinosaurs falling in love? Makes no sense. How about a dinosaur ripping the head off a lion, hmm? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, little lion wants to leave the pack early. Little bear cub wants to go out and see the world, huh? Oh, yeah? Now that's a high school graduation card. Please welcome back Beth Reesgraff, everybody! Oh, thanks, guys! So good to see you. Thank you, you too. Um, so, to be clear, Leverage is still about this uh, sort of ragtag group of, of grifters and, and, and thieves. It's not, you haven't completely switched over to the office format, right? No, just, just for that one episode we did a little special off format. Is that, uh, is that fun to do, to kind of take the character out of the usual environment? Yeah, no, it was a blast. It was one of the only episodes we've ever done that was almost entirely handheld, so that mm -hmm. was really fun. And Jonathan Frakes, who many of you probably know as Riker, um, yeah. woo -woo, he uh, directed <laughs> It and he loves improv, and he is just one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Anyway, but he's a hell of a director, and he let us just roll. So it was it was amazing. He he kind of let us get away with a, a lot of things. I was just imagining him directing and improv, and like doing improv at the same time. Like no. today, this one, we're just going to focus on the ceiling light. Yeah, and just leave the camera there well, for this time. No, it's funny because the DP and the cameraman, they were they literally were holding it, and at one point we kind of see him out of the corner of the eye, and it's shaking, and they're like <laughs> laughing. Behind the thing, and then you have Frakes, who's like, "Oh!" He does this like high-pitched like when he's trying to hold it in, and I'm like, "I can hear you." He turns you. into a Japanese schoolgirl when yeah, you guys are. Yeah, basically. Like, oh, it's so classic. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. But... Please take the skirt off. I get that it's entertaining. Yeah, but... no, he does a he does a lot of funny things, but yeah, I can always hear him hissing in the background <laughs> with laughter. That's a, yeah. I'm glad that's a positive thing. Yes, it um, is. Last time you were here, it was almost a year ago, I think, uh, mm -hmm. and you said that uh, your your one holiday wish was for a horsey. And I Did see you, get you brought one. Oh, yeah, by the way, today. that's total coincidence. <laughs> he looks like he got sick on himself, though. That's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a Ukrainian spam bot. That happens. Oh, that's why. Yeah, of course. Okay. Slash horse. Mm -hmm. uh, an inverse drunken minotaur, I guess. Yeah. But um, did, you, did you... All right, we're good on that. Horse Santa, got it, <laughs> um, Santa got it wrong. That's not really what I was picturing. Uh, what, did, okay. you, did you pick up a horse last no, year? I you didn't, no, I didn't. No, because I'm out of town so much with the show, with shooting in Portland and everything. I didn't think it was fair to get one until I can, like, really commit to the Aren't time they, like, and energy. Aren't they, like, cats or infants? You just fill a bucket of feed and you can go just away Just leave it, like, by the door and they just, no. How about you keep your horse indoors? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, mine will be, like, at the foot of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> and no pay-per-view sprinkles. Yeah. I watch the bill. Yeah, I hope, no. Don't name your horse sprinkles. Um, no, not yet, but I really want to. But I did um, get some riding in, and I have been riding with some friends and stuff. Oh, and yeah? Just, around yeah. here, or? Yeah, you can do it in around L.A., and then in Ireland, I went on a trip there. Oh, that old, that old horse riding that old chestnut. country. Yes, and that was amazing. Um, English saddle, uh, which I'm not that good at, but I managed to pick it up because we did it quite a bit. So I had a lot of fun with that. English is that like a style of, of riding? Or? Yeah, okay. Western saddle is like it's got the horn you hold on. It's like kind of like a like this chair. <laughs> It's like a recliner so you, on a horse. Oh, okay. No, it's <laughs> That's so the it's laziest like, equestrian I've Yeah, I've it's ever like seen. an easy boy. It's really easy. So you hold on and the whole thing, but with um, English saddle, there's no horn to hold on to. So you have to, like, you bob with the horse and you have to kind of mimic its movements oh, wow. more and stuff. But yeah, it, it takes more smarts and more physical um, ability. Oh, the, the horse so, world just is in an uproar yeah, now. How dare yeah, you? No, wait till you. Yeah, I, I, my friend actually was like, no, you're picking it up, but I feel like I want to take some horse lessons. So I can get really good at it. But but yeah, I did that. I did some falconry. What? Oh yeah. While on horseback or yeah, these two separate wanna, activities? Yeah, basically I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like birds are like nice. flying into me. <laughs> What, how did you, no. what is this falconry business? I stayed at this place called Ashford Castle in Ireland, and it's unbelievable if you can ever go, but it's, um... Is it like a Hampton Suites, but with more cobblestone it's, or something? It's like a little, yeah, Holiday Inn sort of place. <laughs> and on a, they have a golf course there, but you can, like, do clay pigeon shooting, you can fish, you can um, horseback ride, and then you can do falconry. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, done. So, yeah, it's, no, it's, and I thought, I was like, this sounds like an SNL sketch, but it's really unbelievable that you go in and this amazing girl who studied her whole life to be a veterinarian, she's like, oh, yeah, I, I got into falconry. I just volunteer my time here, but she, you, they're like puppies, these falcons. You, you puppies meet Puppies that can claw your face apart, yeah. Yeah, but they only okay. weigh two pounds and they have all these feathers, so you think they're going to be really heavy, and she gives you a glove after you get to know all about them, put it on, and she gives you, like, chicken feet and stuff. I'm sorry for people who are against all of this, but it's it's natural because they eat stuff in the wild. Right, and so the feet naturally fall off the chickens, exactly. too. It's not like uh, they're tortured at all. I, yeah. we, it, look, I hope it's not a year before we see you again, but when I you know. come back, we'll get a glove and we'll do some in-studio falconry. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. Beth, I, 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 I didn't even get to talk about your short. We will tease it, and if That's it's okay, okay, we'll show it on the show as well because I love it. Yeah, That's totally. such a pleasure Thank to see you. Thank you so much. Beth, Straight from the horse's mouth. Up next. I'm so sorry, we ran out of time. I recently discovered that I'm bisexual. If you want to experiment right now, I will tuck my penis into a fruit basket and we could play late. Coming up on Attack of the Show. Jeremy Piven drops by the studio with his midlife crisis and the flake I melt with you. Then in DV Doosday, Chris Gore reviews Cowboys and Aliens, Chillerama, and The Hangover Part 2. Plus, CSI's Elizabeth Harnois inspects our stage for questionable fluids. Then I learn the art of trapeze and come uncomfortably close to peeing my pants. And Jonah Hill and Method Man compete to be crowned the ultimate babysitter by Grace Helbig. See it starting Monday. Super fun, fun week. week. Welcome back, everybody. So, oh. 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 Awesome. I noticed that my hair grew faster from spending time in my pyramid. I mean, what else are pyramids good for? Right? I mean, yes, no, yeah. I hope for your sake you are ready for life without back or neck. Okay, his Twitter easily makes more sense than Gary Busey. Absolutely. <laughs> Leg butt. Oh, wow, Kevin, I hope you're writing this down. I have to. I follow him on Twitter, all right? Oh. He's the best thing that's happened to the internet. This is so ever. amazing. What? Sir? Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Sir? Oh. 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 I guess horse e jello for everyone, right? Oh. Wolf Gore Show's bizarre, offbeat sensibilities have earned him a cult following that has racked up millions of views on YouTube. Here's how the twisted mind of Daniel Ryan turned a high school hobby into an internet sensation. I call it Kukitsa. Originally from Florida, Daniel was raised on a heavy dose of eccentric David Lynch films and late-night cable TV. By the time he reached high school, he had become obsessed with the holy grail of dysfunctional comedy, MTV sketch series, The State. I want to dip my balls yeah! During theater class, he and his friends earned A's by acting out sketches from the show by pretending they were their own. Well, his teacher never found out, Daniel was inspired by the no-holds-barred style of the state to start filming his own sketches. So he stole his dad's camcorder and started shooting original skits with his friends. <laughs> By 2008, he decided it was time to take his f***ed up humor where it belonged, the internet, and started uploading videos to YouTube under the name Wolf Gore Show. His first short was a fake ad for Crispin Creeper, a hand puppet monster who runs his own sex hotline. A parody of the 80s commercial for Freddy Freaker, the clip earned him thousands of views and planted the seeds for his future following. About a year later, Daniel was watching late night TV when he stumbled upon a cooking show featuring famed Southern chef Paula Dean. He was instantly struck with inspiration and only days later released a video that would bring him his first taste of viral fame. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yes. 
takes lewds and makes food would go on to hit half a million views after being featured on blogs like Video Gum and The Daily What. It proved to be his breakout hit and helped develop his often used editing style of mixing slowed down clips with disturbing music, most of which he writes himself. Daniel would go on to make countless more videos in the same style, covering everything from Roseanne episodes to infomercials. You remember the magic bullet, right? All right, magic bullet margaritas! <laughs> but in 2010, he would look to the Olsen twins for inspiration to create his most popular video to date. Taking a music video from one of their earlier movies, Daniel turned an upbeat children's song into an overnight internet phenomenon with his own version of Gimme Pizza. Gimme Pizza! P-I-C-C-A the video went viral immediately and was featured all over the internet, including the front page of Reddit and PerezHilton.com. In only a few short weeks, the video was viewed over 5 million times and earned Wolf Gore Show a spot on our very own Around the Net. While it wasn't his first video to go viral, it would lead to six more ATN appearances and solidify Wolf Gore Show's place in the pantheon of YouTube greats. Oh, Daniel hopes to use his internet fame to write and direct his own feature films and ultimately unseat David Lynch as the most unsettling filmmaker in Hollywood. But for now, he's focused on selling his equally bizarre paintings, making more twisted videos, and keeping Wolf Gore Show one of the most unique and disturbing destinations on YouTube. I will hear, I will we doubt he'll have too much trouble. Guess what? What? That was our show. Wow. You gotta love it. That was our show. Yeah. We still got thank yous. So thanks to Beth Reesgraff, Sarah Underwood, Dr. Robin Zazio, and the tweets, of course, ebooks. Stick around, Bob, until Afghanistan starts. Right now, good night.